I want to showcase how I installed the radiator into the radiator cage. This radiator cage is a Curtis Cages cage. The radiator just lays down into the, the cage itself. You can kind of see it's a pretty snug fit on the left side. And then the right side has a little bit more gap on it. I believe you just install it the same exact way you would if you're putting the radiator back normally. It hangs here and then you have a bolt through here and a bolt through here as well. This is my R6 fan. I'll make sure to link the exact one that I got. The R6 fan looks like this. Uh, it typically has a bracket on it which you take off and then to mount the fan there's a set of short bolts with double nuts so you put a bolt, a washer, then a nut and then a washer and a nut on top and that gives you the correct spacing off the radiator there Let's see there's a small bolt with a washer to mount that part of the bracket and then the same thing up top here just like that and then in front the little asymmetrical u-shaped piece of metal bolts in like that small bolt doesn't go through that far. So that's how the fan bracket should mount up on this cage. You have extra hardware here. There's two longer bolts and then one super long bolt. Not necessarily sure what those were for. And then for wiring the fan, I'm leaving the stock fan how it is. It'll kick on at the correct temp. And then the R6 fan is gonna run to the switch style switch panel, which is the on off switch. So I have the black is the ground on this fan. I just put a little stand off there so it doesn't get caught and then grounded it to this part of the stock fan bracket. After I install the radiator, I'll wire this part up to the power on the panel. I'll probably use like a plug type connector so I can easily unplug it and plug it back in if I have to take the radiator on and off. The radiator cage is pretty simple to install. You just lay the radiator in. You have your longer bracket, short bolt, short bolt, short bolt, the smaller angle piece goes up here. I put the fan on first, took this piece bolted the fan together and then installed this part onto the cage and then lined this guy up kept everything loose and then once everything was in a good spot I tightened everything down. I'm also going to run a high pressure radiator cap from the six shop. This has a little bit heavier of a spring. I'm squeezing as hard as I can to compress this thing right now. I believe it changes the boiling point. Uh, it makes it a little bit higher so you don't blow, uh, blow your cap off or something like that. This is how I wired the R6 fan to the switch styles panel on the switch right here. All I did, this blue, the darker blue wire comes off of the panel, and then this lighter blue is off of the fan. All I use is a little plug connector so I can unplug the fan from the panel if I ever have to take like the air box off or the radiator off. It separates everything and then, you know, this isn't tied in place permanently. I already showed how I grounded this fan, but this is how it goes to the pan. And you literally just take blue wire off the accessory switch and tie it to the power wire off the fan. If you want to just solder them together you can but for the sake of having to remove things in the future a plug connector is going to be what works the best there. That's literally how simple it is to wire the R6 fan to the panel. So I finally got the radiator cage and the radiator installed back on the bike. One thing I'm going to mention is the OEM bolt that goes through here you cannot use it because it's too short. I found out what those extra bolts in the pack were and they were for mounting the cage to the bike. So the longest of the three go on here and then I assume one of them was supposed to go on the bottom mount there. And this side of the cage also has a threaded hole. I assume, and this was just based off the assumption of a comment I found buried on Facebook, is that the owner said to cut the tabs off the radiator and I'm assuming he means this tab and that tab and then you just bolt straight through into the cage but this side has the nub, so I, I don't know if you were supposed to like grind the nub off and then drill a hole through the frame and go into here, but I just hooked it here, put a bolt through here, and then just like the same thing on the OEM one down there. This side, make sure you get everything lined up perfectly. This bolt should be able to hand thread all the way through 
no problem. If it gets too tight, you're gonna break it because that's what I did. I'm notorious for breaking bolts. This is the third nut and or bolt that I've broken on this bike. So what I did was I bought the same M6 1.0 bolt, uh, possibly a little bit longer. I think this was a 35 millimeter. And then I drilled out the broken bolt out of the frame tab here. So there's no threads in the frame. It's just a pass through. And then I cleaned up the thread on this part of the cage so this bolt goes straight through the mount the frame tab and then threads into here be careful when you're putting this in I used uh, a longer one down here so none of the OEM bolts are being used to mount the radiator right now but everything on this side plugs in perfect depending on what cage you're running you'll have to route this radiator hose like through and then this bracket up here I had to loosen and kind of push towards the inside of the bike as you can see that siphon hose is a little bit of a tight angle there. Move this bracket to get this hose on and then just really be careful with your mounting bolts there. I wish these uh, companies give a little bit better instruction on how to install some of this stuff. I mean it, it does seem simple but there are little, little tricks that they don't mention um, that you have to kind of figure out on your own. Stash in the carpet Yeah, we trapping out apartments I ain't done where you start shit